thank you so much. Um, if it wasn't for you and Jeff, I would have never, ever talked to a Mormon missionary. And you guys have been <laughs> an invaluable resource for me and through me for my church as well. So well, great. Thank that's you so that's much. extremely extremely encouraging. I will communicate that to Jeff. He's off in Ireland right now, but uh, when he gets back, oh, nice. I'll, I'll let yeah. him know about that. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, God bless. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. All right, uh, 877-753-3341. Uh, let's talk to Brad up in the once conservative, no longer conservative state of Colorado. <laughs> Craig, yes, you are right, sir. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, sad, right. and uh, uh, how, how they flipped that state as quickly as they did is a study in... In politics, but anyways, legalization of marijuana did it. That, well, that does help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What can I help anyway, you? Anyway, okay. So the question, I, I understand it was a little difficult to see what I was trying to ask. So, uh, I guess your opinion, based on the scriptures, of uh, and a uh, person who is. You can use both terms, hermaphrodite or intersex, surgically altering so that they can marry the opposite sex that they are most dominant. Do you see the question, or do I need to go? Well, I don't want to get into, like, kind of the the more detailed, because it's a pretty program, but... Well, yeah, I mean... Is that acceptable as a Christian? If you are a Christian, you, you know the scriptures, and you just... You do, you're more dominant in one area, and you want to marry the opposite sex, and you have to surgically. Is that Christianly, in a way, acceptable according to the scriptures? Well, here, here's here's the problem: is that any type of um, inter, actually, physically intersex what, right, situation the, requires there to be an underlying genetic issue that is involved, and right. that uh, that particular manifest there obviously there are you know probably uh 40 different kinds of genetic abnormalities that can manifest themselves and do manifest themselves in an extremely small number of situations i would say probably at most half of a of 1% of of the human population because Normally, a genetic mutation along those lines is is simply fatal. Um, so, um, those that are not are very rare that they that they provide live births, and hence it's a small population. I have often said that you must make a huge distinction between a person who is truly genetically um, abnormal in the sense of. Uh, having either uh, uh, traits of both sexes, non-functionality along those lines. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of manifestations, depending on what particular those syndrome you have. Who I was referring to. Yeah. Um, those, those individuals should be people that the Church is very quick to provide um, uh, acceptance and pastoral counseling of, because they happen to be the very same people that will be abused by our society in promoting right. uh, transgenderism and things like that that have nothing to do with genetics at all. It's all a matter of what's going on up here, not not the genetics and everything well, else. And I told I told Rich I agree totally with your stance on that. Right. I was just asking. Right. So yeah, I'm just on, like, the, on the on the the, the sorry, reason, sorry. Uh, uh, Brad. The reason that I'm belaboring this is that when I was on the Dr. Drew show a couple years ago to discuss Mm -hmm. transgender issues, this came up, and it was used as a, as a weapon, um, because most people have never spent any time really thinking about it, and don't have personal experience with someone in that context. And I'm not attacking you. I'm not trying to attack you. No, 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 and I'm not saying, no, 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 I'm just simply saying, when, when I answer questions, I want to try to make the question to be as useful to as wide an audience as possible, and so I'm just simply saying, the reason I'm giving all the background is so that people can have uh, an understanding of where this is coming from. Um, that would have, and, and here's here's the only answer I can give. That is a pastoral question. In other words, okay. it would require a Christian pastor 
to know the life and faith of the individual? Because I'm assuming you're talking about a Christian. a Christian, okay? So yes. so if you're talking about a believer who is in that situation, then pastorally there has to be an understanding of is this a union that can produce children or not? Is the person who does not experience the genetic abnormality a person who wants to have children? Is this a situation okay. where um, where adoption would be something that would be uh, something that could fulfill those aspects? So in other words, there's a lot of personal reality on the part of the person and the couple and the church that would have to be a part of that. So it's okay. so now all of that to say, that when you say would would uh, medical intervention be appropriate within a Christian context, the only assumption I can make is so that there can be marital relationship. That was all I was asking. Yes. Okay. Sorry. All right. Um, and so that there's not a so there's not a I'm trying to think of the word exact. So there's not a problem of. I don't know how to say it properly in a discreet manner. So there's not a problem of the person interacting with the same sex while they're trying to opposite have, have marital relations. That's, and I'm sorry, that's not. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not following you there, but I, this is this is the best I can say. Um, if you have, for example, there is there's nothing wrong in utilizing uh, medics, medicine and advancements in science to overcome genetic problems in other aspects of our lives. So if, if you have a, a person with a, a genetic abnormality that has resulted in a particular uh, connective issue in an arm, uh, doing surgery to repair that and give them greater strength and mobility in that arm, there, there would not be any, I can't see that there would be any Christian basis for um, uh, objecting to something like that. Um, the That's issue, yeah, yeah, the issue here then would be if you have a genetic abnormality that is causing a physical problem and we have the ability to ameliorate that, then I can't see that there'd be an objection to that. But that's a separate issue from all the complications that come up when you're talking about a couple uh, marrying mm. where one does not have that. What are what are, what is the expectation? Uh, in that type of a situation, and that would have to be dealt would, with pastorally in each pastoral situation. And I'm sorry. It would be pastoral and private. Yes, it would be. Okay, that's all I was asking. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to like. I mean, you've answered the question very sufficiently. I wasn't trying to provoke you. Oh the, no, no, I, I didn't. I wasn't. Are, I hope. I hope you didn't hear me suggesting that you were. I was just simply saying. No, I, I gave I a long clarify. answer because I want to try to help as many people with the with the question as possible. Yeah, and I'm clarifying as well because. Okay. Anyway, I, I'll, I'll get off there. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> I, I thanks. love you, Doctor White. Thank all you. All right. Thanks for your Thank call. You. God bless. Bye bye.